Okay guys, another haul today. Um, one of my friends who works in the beauty industry, she gave me stuff before, um, thank you very much, gave me a whole bag of really random goodies. So let's get right into it. The first thing she gave me was um, the Exfoli Exfoliate Cleanser from Kate Somerville, Daily Foaming Wash. Um, never had this one before, um, heard from the brand of course before, so I'm really yeah, excited to try it out. Can't really say much about it. It's a nice size, a 50ml, and um, it will go straight to my bathroom to try it out. Then she also got me some creams. Um, one is the Intensive Moisture Facial Cream, which is from Curel, which seems to... It says it's Japanese skincare. Sorry for the noises, by the way. Someone didn't want to go for a nap again. Um, I had a look. It seems to be that you can buy them um, in Boots, this brand. And um, they seem to retail at around... Um, 16 to 20 pound per product depending on the type of product you buy so let's open it up there we go oh okay that looks nice instead of mil or usually have like a cream pot with like 50 mil i actually yes it says 40 mil because i was thinking here it says 40 grams interesting Intensive Moisture Facial Cream. Plastic packaging, just white cream. Ooh, it smells really nice. It smells very fresh. I will put a bit on the back of my hand. It feels like um, a bit of a gel type of formula. It smells nice. It seems to sink in quite quickly, which is good as well. Um, very happy with that. Then we have another product from um, Curel, and this seems to be for the eyes, an eye cream. Let me open that up. Okay, there we go. Got the foil off. This is how it's packaged. I don't get it. Why do why the box is always so big for products, which are clearly roughly half the size? So there we go. I really like the lid of that one, actually. Uh, moisture Eye Zone Essence. Uh, eye contour area it's a 19 mil size let's open it up okay it's one of these really fine squeezy tubes so not a pump oh, okay again it also looks like a gel type formula doesn't seem to have too much of a smell at all compared to the face cream but yeah, um, very happy with that, and um, I would definitely put it on my collection and start to use it as soon as I used up all the other stuff. But very nice. Let's put it to the side. Then one really tiny one, a sample. It's Medic Eight. Um, to be honest, I did not heard from that one before. Surface Radiance Cleanse. So that seems to be a tiny little cleanse of five ml size, and this has AHA and BHA, Mangosteen Cleansing Gel. So let's open it up comes immediately out even so that's like a clear gel as you can see and this will go straight to my bathroom to try it out so for the background noise hopefully he's not too loud <laughs> then next products i got um this one i think i had a, from that brand i had a bath oil before is it nut and noggin moisture rich shampoo bar i don't know um, but it's a shampoo bar and I'm super excited about it. The only thing is, I mean, the good thing is, um, apparently they give stuff to charity when you buy it. Um, solid shampoo bar with nourishing um, plant oils. Lather up in your hands, massage into wet hair and scalp. Repeat if needed, condition as normal. Keep in dry place between washes. And that's the thing. Keep in dry place between washing, but you want it in the shower, isn't it? And this is... Um, a cardboard packaging so i won't be able to put it back in there so i need to find something to put it in there like a little tray but then also have it somewhere where it can get stored quite nicely it smells like something it smells like a candle to be honest <laughs> one of these typical candle smells um apparently it has beer and flaxseed oil in there i can't really smell that but fair enough but yeah i'm 
considering it's very environmentally friendly and um, it's, there's not plastic packaging, I'm really, really happy about this. So I'm, I am keen on trying more solid bar products like that. So I'm really, really happy. I just need to find a good solution to store it somewhere in the shower um, where it doesn't get too wet or close to the shower. I can reach it easily when I'm in the shower. So that would be quite interesting. Then what do we have here? Okay, mood maker, color changing nail polish. That's funny. Two times 12 mil. Okay, let me try to somehow open that up to show you guys. Okay, so I got it out of the packaging. Um, not 100% sure about the colors, but I don't have any nail varnish on me today, so we actually can try it out straight away and I will put it on. And let's see how it looks. Oof, they have a very strong smell. Okay, they're definitely not opaque. There you can see it. You can actually see my nail through it. Interesting. Very strong smell. <laughs> and let's try that pink. Oh my goodness. I don't open up. Both of them have 12 mil inside. I can't open that pink one. Okay, I managed to somehow bolt it open. Let's put the pink one on a finger as well. Again, very um, lacking in opacity. There we go. I don't know what's the color changing, but did I do something wrong? Hmm. Let me have a look. No, definitely did the right thing. So. Well, I can leave it on. Maybe they need to dry or something. And let's see what happens. <laughs> we go through some more products in the time. Okay, next product I got. Actually, only two more to go. Um, Trini London Lip Treat Soothing Balm. I heard about that. Apparently, she got like a lot of... Um... Hey! Someone really loud in the background complaining. Um, she got like a whole line of products which she can like stack on top of each other, like screw together. Why does that not open? Okay, there we go. So I think this is one of these ones. And this is... Oh, this is the lip balm. I really like it already, right off the bat. I mean, that lid looks quite nice. It's like a really fine design in the lid. And then you can see here, you can click other products underneath. So this is the Lip Treat Anna. It's three grams. It says Trini on the top. Let's open it up. Okay, it's just a clear balm. So it just looks like Vaseline. Smells. Okay, let me smell with the other hand because I smell nail varnish on this one. It smells like nothing, to be honest, which might be a good thing with a lip balm. It also says here on the side, um, Trini London. So, yeah, um, lip balms always go. I have a lot of at the moment in my collection. So, I will save this one um, for when I actually use up some of my lip balms. But, yeah, very happy to try this one out. I might have to have a look because there are also colored products you can get and like multi purpose products for the face so yeah really huh, really interesting it also says you can use it as a lipstick base which might be quite good if you use a lot of um drying lipsticks but yeah happy for that made in italy by the way and then last product um saint tropez self tan express so advanced one hour tan bronzing mousse and it says one, one hour it's light, two hours it's medium, three hours it's dark. Okay, that's not something really I can show. But also came with a tanning mitt. Very nice. I don't really use self-tanning products. Considering that I have a lot of self-tanning products at the moment. But that's also because a lot of them came into my life. Either via presents or via beauty advent calendars. So I really need to step up, up this summer to actually use them. Um, I don't really like them all over body. But I am happy to use them on my legs over the summertime. Because... I use a lot of sunscreen, so um, I do stay a bit pale, but i um, happy to use it on the legs to just get a bit of color on my legs. But yeah, that's it for me today. What do you think about the products? Um, I think it's just brilliant um, to get a whole collection. These color changing nail polishes, um, yeah, I might pass them on because I don't see much color change. Let me actually put them under cold water. One sec. 
Okay, put them under cold water. They seem to get a little bit darker under cold water, but that's about it. And as you can see, um, I lost already bits of it. So they don't seem to, they're still also feeling tacky. So um, yeah, they don't seem to dry down really well. And I do not like the colors. So I will pass them on to someone who will appreciate them and like them. And that's it for me today though. I'll see you next time. Bye.